Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. You can contact me with this information. We'll continue with our SQL accounting system training. And in today's lesson, we'll talk about 21 days rules. Let's go to SQL. Now, basically 21 days rules will happen if you have a delivery order first before the tax invoice. If you have delivery order together with tax invoice or tax invoice first, then you have a delivery order, then there's no 21 days rules. Now, so let's go to sales and create a delivery order. Click new, select the customer as usual. Let's set the DO number as DO GST. So later it's easier for us to track back. So and we put as a April transaction. So select item, put in the pricing. So we have the delivery order ready. And let's process GST03. GST, new GST return, and process it. Now, once you process, because the DO is at 1st of April and it's more than 3 months already, or more than um, 21 days, that is no invoice have been issued. So we go to check on the item number 5, and we can see that the GO, DO GST is here, meaning that. The system will charge GST on your delivery order. Now, this one is done by system automatically, but a lot of question will arise when you issue a tax invoice for that DO. Okay, so we select Kitty, right click with transfer from the delivery order. So we call this IV DO. GST. <coughs> Excuse me. So many people will ask Brian, just now your DO already charged GST. Now when I issue the tax invoice, you charge GST again. Will it be double GST? No, I'll show you how SQL accounting system will handle these things automatically. So GST. Oh sorry, I need to set the date as let's say August. So no need to do double GST zero three. So we go to GST, new GST return, and you can see that when you check under the output tax under item number five. So you see, we already we will charge the GST for invoice, but at the same time we also deduct out the GST which we have charge in the previous delivery order so the system will not allow double charge of GST for a delivery order which will transfer to an invoice which we call that a 21 days rules so this whole thing will handle by the system automatically but do bear in mind do bear in mind there's a new GST law saying that you must issue a tax invoice after a supply meaning a delivery order or a deposit within 30 days. That's a 30 days rules. It is not contradict with 21 days rules, it's just an add-on to it. Okay, so you can check all these things through my uh, uh, book that I have written, it's called SQL GST Guide. Now, if you do have time, please drop by at my Facebook, it's facebook.com slash syntax technologies. Please help to like my page. And you can get all the latest SQL and GST information over here. And if you want to refer to other SQL tutorial videos, just go to syntech.com.my, click on YouTube, and here you go. This is all my SQL tutorial video. Now, once again, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. Thank you.